Ian, how happy with that midfield pairing? Yeah, I thought they went well. You know, the first first 20 were probably a little bit um, symptomatic of a bit of rustiness in their game and, and they were probably forcing a little bit, but they just kept things really simple and, and did some nice, obvious things, which was really pleasing. Who's next? Just grab the mic real quick. Nigel, down the back on the right. Steve, what was the feeling about the defence in the opening 20 minutes? Yeah, well, good. Obviously, when it doesn't matter who you play, if you can keep them to zero, um, that's not a bad effort. And uh, in the first 20, we got asked a lot of questions. You know, the, the Samoan boys had plenty of sting and, um, you know, we had to work hard. So, uh, again, it wasn't perfect and we didn't expect it to be, but, uh, you know, we thought they worked hard. The guys got off the ground quickly and, um, you yeah, know, as, as again, same with the attack. It was a good start. In the near spot, John Day. Uh, Ian, just a, lots always made of Bowden Barrett's goal kicking. Do you think he silenced a few people tonight? Well, I don't know. Well, he, he certainly kept us pretty happy. Um, you know, I think if you look at, he's had a year that hasn't kicked a lot, obviously with his size strain and the way things are gone. But his last outing with the Hurricanes, he was really good, he, and he's hasn't done a lot of kicking this week. We've had a pretty busy week, but um, he's hitting the ball well. Back Ross, here, Ross Cole, down the back. Uh, your thoughts on the wingers' performances tonight, considering how well Rico and Waisaki have done in recent weeks? Yeah, well, pretty pleased again. It's, um, you know, I think uh, both of them, were, it was a different sort of game for our wingers, but I thought Izzy really grew into the game and he looked stronger as the game went on. And, um, and Jules, you know, got a lot of touches on the ball, which is really what we wanted to see out of him. So... Uh, the pleasing thing now is well, it kind of feels like we've got four wings all in good form, so made it a little bit tricky. Sav, down the back. Ben, what sort of um, confidence does that build in the team with a shakedown as impressive as that? Um, yeah, I thought, you know, we talked about uh, the skill level uh, as the game went on and um, how it sort of, you know, the game probably uh, loosened up a wee bit and... Uh, I was just impressed that um, you know our skill level was really high and um, we managed to to keep that going throughout the game and um, yeah as Steve said the the start was um, you know put us they put us under a lot of pressure and um, we had to make sure that defensively um, you know we were getting into the right position so that um, you know they weren't able to to score and I think you know early on they're really looking to um, come right through the middle of us so um, that was that was important. Steve do, you, Steve, do you think Warren Gatlin would have been surprised at all in the way that the All Blacks played tonight? And equally, two questions if I can do that. Do you expect to be too surprised by what they do tomorrow night? That sounds like a wee loaded question, uh, Jimmy. You have to give me a second to think about that. Um, would he be surprised? No, I don't think so. I mean, like them, we've got a style we like to play and you know, we use the ball a lot and um, we've got some skillful people uh, when we do that. Uh, do I expect them to do something different tomorrow night? Um, well, he keeps telling us he's got something up his sleeve other than his arm, so, um, you know, we'll wait and see, won't we? But, uh, yeah, he's starting to run out of time to get it practised, so, you know, but, it, but you know, I've always said, once you have a style as a coach and it works for you, you usually stick with it, so it's going to be a big move if he changes, and, um, you know, we'll wait and see. Look forward to it, you know. We're sitting here, we're finished for the weekend, we've come out with no injuries and we get to sit down now and, and get really excited about what's in head, ahead of us, which is the Lions, and you, know, you wait 12 years for them to come around, so you don't want to miss it. And um, yeah, we get to watch them tomorrow night play the New Zealand Maori side, which you know they'll throw the kitchen sink at them, so it'll be a big game for them again. And um, then, you know, then all the banter's out of the way, isn't it? We're into it. And... Uh, can't wait. Nige, down the back. On Steve, the right. speaking of the New Zealand Māori, did you request Damien McKenzie play at first 5 8 for that team? Uh, no, no, but we, uh, we have said publicly that we'd like him to play 10, but we didn't. It's, it's not our policy to um, tell super teams to play people where we would like them to play, and it's not our policy to tell national teams, but. You know, Coops has worked in very closely with us and he understands where we think 
uh, Damien's long-term future is, and I think he, he's pretty clear where it is as well for himself, and uh, he's an ex-Chiefs coach, and I think the FS5 is leaving, so, uh, and he's got a style of game he wants to play, and, you know, I think Damien obviously suits that style. Secondly, did you see consistency in the scrum rulings from Mathieu Reynal, and, and if so, then how pleased are you that your front row was able to adjust? Yeah, look, we had a good meeting with him last night, and, um, discussed you know, what he wanted and, and what he wanted was what we've always done at international level which is to have you know, when we go down be year to year and have a small gap so uh, it's my understanding and uh, that Super Rugby are, are trialling something different which World Rugby have asked to have trialled and that's have no engage, you know, have them no gap um, so you know, once we got that clear, it was pretty easy. Just go ear to ear and away you go. And I thought he riffed really well tonight. Uh, City. Yeah, Steve, hey, um, how satisfied are you with the outcomes for the All Blacks for the Lions next week from tonight? Yeah, well, very, like, we've asked for this game and, and uh, you know, it's tough on the uh, Samoan team. They haven't played for five weeks and, uh, like us, they're bringing people in from all over the place to try and play, even worse than us, really. You know, we're only coming in from New Zealand. They're, they've come in from all over the world. So it's a tough ask for them, and we're really thankful that they you know, accepted the challenge because you know, we know that we needed the game. Um, we weren't worried about the scoreline. It wasn't, you know, other than obviously we wanted to be in front. Um, the key thing we wanted was to be able to get combinations um, going and, and get on the park as a team and, and uh, you know, we did that and, and we did a lot of stuff well but as I said before, it's just a start. You know, this team's got to have to be way better at everything we do if we want to compete against the Lions. Yep, Mark. Uh, ben, I just wonder if you could just reflect for us on your first test as captain, just what the uh, the occasion was like for you and, and just as a second parter, just, uh, I guess, discuss the readiness of the team for what's coming next week. Uh, yeah, I'll answer the second part of that. We know what's coming next week and uh, we're excited about that as a group and I think the, the main thing for us will be to recover well and, and then look forward to next week um, on Sunday. But uh, what was the first part of that question was... <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, I learnt a lot. Uh, you know, it was a busy week for us. We came in on Sunday and uh, had to, um, you know, refresh ourselves with the structures and the systems of this team. And uh, yeah, I just think, you know, I learnt, uh, you know, a lot about uh, probably the smaller details uh, that you need to do as captain. And and then probably today, I just had to make sure that my own performance was up to it, so that I got out there and played as well as I could do uh, to help this team. But uh, I really enjoyed it and. Um, yeah, looking forward to, to next week. I'll just add to that. I, I think um, he's had an outstanding week as the leader. Um, it's not easy to come in, A, as the captain, and B, when you you know it's only for one or two games, and um, or three games, you know, four games. But as a part-time captain, it's tough. But he's come in and led like he's been there all his life, and I think it was outstanding, and you know, he's got a big future in that department, I think. Yep, Liam. Steve, of, uh, the expectation is that um, the Lions all target the set piece. How confident are you that you, you'll stand up there and, and also tonight, how pleasing to score five or six tries from, from that specific area of the game? Well, I've been here since uh, 2004 and every year we get told we're going to get targeted at the set piece. And, you know, it's a great challenge for our set piece, isn't it? Um, so we'll, we'll look forward to it. We'll get ourselves uh, ready for it, and and hopefully we can, um, you know, match them, That's if it. not better them. Sorry. How big a loss would it be for the Lions not to have on Farrell? And where have you been planning for him to to start the tests? Ten or twelve? Well, that's two good questions. Um, well, he's injured at the moment, and I think he'd be a massive loss. I think he's a you know he's a world class player and um, right up there. Uh, where do I think he'll play? Probably twelve. You know, if he's going to have anything up, as I said, he's telling us he's got something else up his uh, up his sleeve other than his arm. It'll have to, that might be one of them. Um, you know, they went to a lot of trouble when uh, Jonathan Davis went off the other night to put him at centre. So, and where the obvious place was to put him at 12, unless Ben can't play 13, not sure. Um, 
but it doesn't matter where he plays, he's a good player. So we just have to deal with whatever uh, the Lions decide to do with their selections. Uh, that, that's the team they're going to pick and it'll be a good team. So, um, you know, he, but he's a world-class player. A lot of respect for him in our group. Uh, we've got time for two more. We'll go with Tom and then Owen and then we're done. Uh, Steve, just on uh, what you said earlier about the need to get better at everything, is there anything specifically you'll be focusing on this week ahead of the Lions? Yeah, everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, d I didn't get school cert in English, so specifically doesn't doesn't live in our world. Um, yeah, look, yeah, we've we've got a critical few skill sets that we work to. I'm not going to tell you what they are, so don't bother asking. But um, yeah, there are, there are the things we know. If we do really well, then we've got a chance of winning. So they'll be the things we start and finish on. You know, well, everything else is important, yes. But if we can get the critical things dead right, uh, then we're in the in with a chance. Owen, last question. Uh, Steve, you revealed yesterday that the Lions are bringing five new players in. Uh, can I ask sort of when did you know and um, do you think that that is a, uh, a smart move? Were you surprised by it at all? Oh, that's a lot of questions you're asking. Like if I ask you who your informant is, do you let me know? Yeah, well, you've had a go. Good work. <laughs> do I think it's a good move? I think, you know, he, he clearly wants to bring them in so he can have have two, two squads, like asking guys to play test matches and then on a, a midweek game is pretty tough. So it's probably a smart play. we just about got as many as Clive brought over now. Just, uh, Jim's Clive got... Was probably proven right, wasn't he? Should have brought them at the beginning. Jim just got... Can you just tell us, is Kieran good to go for next week? You'll have to wait till Thursday. There's no point me telling... Warren Gatlin, who's playing? Just relax, Jimmy.